Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we are here with a video on how to acquire a rock cake in old school RuneScape. Hopefully you guys enjoy the guide. If you do, make sure to leave a like. But with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. So to get a rock cake in the first place, you had to have completed or you must be in the process of completing freeing the mountain dwarf from the recipe for disaster and there are many mini quests that go on during it. If you are doing this for the first time and you have not completed it, you're going to need four Asgoldian ales, which is created by using a coin on an Asgardian ale. You also need a pot of flour, a bucket of milk, an egg, and a bowl of water if you've never made one of these before. If you have made one of these before and you have to go back to get another one, you're only going to need 100 GP. You are also going to have to cool down the rock cake because upon being made it will be too hot for you to handle so you'll either need ice gloves or you're going to need an amulet of glory or a combat bracelet to then go on over to the ice mountain and to kill an ice fiend up there. In addition to that I have a stamina potion for run energy you probably don't need that. I also have runes to be able to teleport to Camelot and use the telekinetic grab. If you don't have the ice gloves telegrab is going to be the way that you obtain it. So from the Camelot teleport I'm going to run to the east on over here to the white wolf tunnel another viable option to get on over here would be to use the taverly house teleport right down there and then run to the northwest right to this other entrance that is actually closer to the dwarf that we will be talking to so one way or another find your way on down into this tunnel if you're going the route that i am currently at you will find a nice little cabin over here and you'll go down the stairs in there once you're down the stairs then just follow this little winding path and over here you will see a nice little opening where there will be many dwarves and the dwarf in particular that we are going to need to talk to he goes by the name of roic if you have not done this prior you're going to have to talk to him give him all of these gold ales kind of drunken him up a bit and then he will make a dwarven rock cake for you if you have already got one and you're looking for another one then just go ahead and talk to him he will say hello again and then say can i have another rock cake from there he will ask for 100 gp go ahead and give that to him he will then go into somewhat of an animation process that's very suspect as he goes ahead and puts the rock cake in the fire. And there you go. A dwarven rock cake is going to be placed on the table. So this is where you have to go of your many routes about getting it. So I guess first off, if you have ice gloves, go ahead and pick it up and it will immediately be cooled off and it will be a regular dwarven rock cake that you will be able to eat or guzzle. Very useful for any situation where you have to lower your HP quickly. Could be using Darok, could also be if you're in the wilderness using the Chaos Altar just to kill yourself quickly and get your HP down. A lot of people decide to use these as well. I also have a weapon and a defender. You really don't need a weapon and a defender, honestly. You can kill the Ice Fiend with your hand. Just going to save me a few seconds here, but go ahead, go on over to it and then use the telekinetic grab. So if I try to eat this without the ice gloves on now, it will be in my hands and then I won't know what to do and I'll drop it. And so that is why you're going to need to cool it off. So go ahead and telegrab it. There is another way that is not included and that is you can wait four hours and then pick it up or use it. I don't really think that that's the best way to go about it, but if you want to, you know, fine by me. Once you have the rock cake and it's still in its molten form, then you can go ahead and teleport to either Edgeville or I'm going to use the combat bracelet teleport and go to the monastery. Once you're here, then run to the south a little bit and then head west on over to the ice mountain up here. Once you're up there, there will be a ton of pyre fiends all around you and all you're gonna have to do is kill one of them and that will cool off your rock cake. So let's go ahead and show that off. There we go, one hit and you're done. The dying breath of the ice fiend has now cooled my rock cake and you can go ahead and eat or guzzle that as you please again so hopefully you got what you needed out of this guide if you did feel free to drop a like in addition to that anything you'd like to tell me or others would love to see it in a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live make sure to subscribe but with that said hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh peace